Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get the American Netflix in Canada. This is an updated video from my video from uh, a while ago. I think it's like a half a year ago. Um, since that one is now out of date and frankly there's a better way. Um, this way is using a VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual, um, I think it's like a virtual private network, something like that. Um, but it basically allows you to do what Ola Unblocker was doing, which is faking or making it seem like you're in a different country, or like your IP address, which is basically how um, your computer can locate or can um, dif differentiate uh, who you are from other people. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to the links that I'll have in the description. One is to a website called VPN Book, and the other is to a website called OpenVPN. Um, so first of all, you're going to want to download OpenVPN. Um, you're going to want to download the OpenVPN Connect client. So uh, click it and download it. Sorry that I ha don't have it installed yet because I'm just going to walk you step by step how to install and how to set it up. So, you're going to want to click on it after it's done downloading. It's uh, 15 megabytes, it's not that big, but it might take a second for it to download. It works on uh, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, and Windows 2000, but I recommend uh, you have Windows 7 or later. Um, you, I recommend using Windows 7, not Windows 8, because Windows 8 isn't very compatible with a lot of things so you're gonna want to click next once you get to this screen and um, uh, you can read this if you want but I don't really read this you might want to read it if you're the kind of person who wants to make sure you don't get in any situations that you don't want to be in um, just click I accept the terms in the license agreement and click next and then uh, I don't recommend changing this if you want to change it and you want to install it to a different drive or anything then you can Click next, and then install, and it will install it. It might take a little, uh, a little bit, but that's never that bad. While this is installing, you're going to want to keep it on the page because it's going to ask you if you want to install some devices. Um, it's going to say tap Win32 provider um, OAS network adapters. Uh, click always trust software from this uh, place if you want to, um, uh, if you don't want these pop ups to occur and you just want to install it. So if you ever need to install anything from this publisher again. So click install. This That's basically just a device driver so um, your computer can connect to VPNs without having to ask you each and every time which is pretty good because it gets annoying it'll say install new services because it's a Windows service and once it's done make sure this is checked off and click finish once it opens up or even before it opens up just exit out of that page you don't need it anymore um, on this page right here you want you're gonna want to click Oh, sorry about that. You're going to want to click US Open VPN Certificate Bundle. None of these other ones. You want to click US since you want to you want to you want you can uh, you want Netflix to think that you're in the United States instead of Canada. Click US Open VPN Certificate Bundle. Once it downloads, you're going to want to click it. Um it's a zip file. I recommend using WinRAR if you want to install it very easily. Sorry about this. So you're going to want to install all of these so basically to install it you just want to double click on it and uh, leave it the default name and make sure this completely trust this profile is tech or um, ticked off if you don't want any pop-ups that's asking you if you want to trust what it's doing. Um, if you were the kind of person who doesn't want, who is um, skeptical, I don't know what I would say, like, I don't want to say, like, stupid, 
um, because that's some people are just uh, more cautious when it comes to this kind of things. Then uh, you don't need to do this. But if if you don't want these annoying pop-ups to pop up asking you if you trust what this profile is doing, then you want this checked off. Just click save. Uh, then you want to do this for each and every one. Double click this. Save. Double click this. Save. And double click this and press save. Once that's done, you're going to want to click on it. And on this page, you'll see usernames. You'll see a username and a password. The reason I'm not giving you the username and password in the description is because it changes often because uh, they take you a bit up to date. Um, and in the password box, you're going to want to um, press Control V to paste the password and the username. Um, I'm pretty sure always stays VPN book. Um, I'm not completely sure. And you want to check off remember password during this connection. So whenever you want to connect, it doesn't ask you for the password. Um, click login. Obtaining configuration, assigning IP address. And once that is done, you're going to want to make sure um, it's saying this traffic is occurring right here. I'm sorry about people logging in in Skype. Um, once it logs in, you're going to want to click disconnect so you can put in each uh, the username and password for each thing. I recommend using the one, one second, I'm just going to do the password for each of these. Sorry about that. X. Okay, um, I suggest using TCP 443 for connecting since it is the most reliable and the most, um, I don't want to say secure, but it's um, a secure profile. All these are secure. Um, they're all uh, SSL and they all protect you against the vulnerability that's just been uh, detected or um, discovered called, <clears throat> sorry about that, um, the Heartbleed uh, security. If you um, want to learn more about that, I'll have the link in the description to a um, article that describes what Heartbleed is. It's basically a vulnerability in Open SSL, which is basically when you want, when you connect to a website that has right here where this is. It has a lock which means it's secure it's a thing it's a uh, vulnerability that makes it unsecure um so it protects you against that by um and when it's not secure it means that people can get your passwords more easily um i've never had a problem with the vulnerability that's just that it's just been uh it's just been discovered but if you want to be safe then it, you should use these on a daily basis not just for netflix but I'm not going to get in too into depth on that. So click on t um, this one right here and type in VPN book. And for the password, this password right here, it's not always the same. So I recommend going to it um, and making sure it's the same. Click login and it will, once it's done and it has all of this right here, you're going to want to type in Google my IP. And if it says your IP is different than your normal one, the, the way that you can check to see what your normal IP address is, is you would disconnect from it and reload the page. And if it says it's a different thing, I just gotta reload it a couple of times. And when it says your public IP address is this, and when you log and when you connect to it, it doesn't always do this because it sometimes it messes up. So I just gotta disconnect from all these. Um, Status, no active connections, okay, I've got to reload this. If it says that your IP address is different, I'm going to blur my IP address out, but if it says it's different when you connect to it, it means that it is working. So, um, one second, I just got to go back to this so I can see the password. I think I have, yeah, I have a couple of those. Log in. And 
and if you go type in my IP and it's different than your normal IP, that means it is working because it changes your IP to make um, to fool uh, most websites into thinking that you're from a different place than you are. So if it's different, if it's not the normal one, it's not always going to be this IP right here. Um, then that's good. So once all of that is done you g are going to want to check to see if your Netflix is the American Netflix. A way that you can check that is by searching for a website that or for searching search for a movie or TV show that's only available in the United States on the United States version. It is a little bit slower than it would normally be because it has to route all your traffic through a separate server. So you're going to want to search for say Sons of Anarchy and if it allows you to watch it like it is right here see it's allowing me to see it and it's not saying when I search it that it isn't isn't available then it is working and as you can see if I disconnect from this and reload it it will have this right here why is this title unavailable to stream um then you know that it is working and it's changing uh where you actually are this will work for a while um if this does not work anymore then feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and i will do my best to find a separate way and upload it uh thank you for watching this and uh leave a like if this helps you um, leave a like and a favorite if this helps you. It helps me out a lot. And you could also leave a comment giving me some constructive criticism on uh, anything to do with how I um, do my um, tutorials or anything to do with that. Or giving me different ways, different better ways to do this, like faster, uh, anything. Um, this does work. Like, this will work. It will... Um, any VPN will allow you to, any US, um, United States VPN will allow you to connect to the American Netflix. So there is paid for VPNs that are a little bit faster than this, such as CyberGhost VPN or anything like that. There's also a Toronto based um, website called Unblock, um, Unblock Us. Oh, sorry about that. I typed in the wrong. website or block-us.com also have the link to this in the description you can try it free for one week without putting in your credit card and if you decide to continue after the free trial is done it's 499 per month and it's um it's very fast it's faster it's the exact same as if you were weren't using um this service so i recommend i highly recommend this if you have money to spare if you don't have money to spare then you can try my version and you can drop a like if it works Thank you guys for watching and peace.